Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ridi Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial. And this time I want to talk about this beautiful product. It's a modular design kit with over 50 elements to build these beautiful sculptures. All right. And on my Patreon, I will show you how to light it, how to make it beautiful and just get the best out of it. So that looks pretty amazing, I think, at least. OK. And if you want to have it, you can go to marcusgonzagumroad.com and buy it for 25 euros. But there is a better option right now in February 2023. If you want to become a patron in the Knights tier for 20 euros, you will get a 100% discount code for this download and also for other downloads and a lot of good stuff. All right. So if you want to become a knight, then in February, you will get 100% on this product. OK, last but not least, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Marcus Gonza 3 d And um, I also just talked about this beautiful asset kit. And now maybe I can can also share with you where this inspiration is coming from. So I was definitely inspired intensely from the collaboration between Teenage Engineering and IKEA. So these modules here, they were a huge inspiration. Also, the amazing artist Peter Taka, you can find him on Instagram, inspired me to build this modular asset kit. And I think we have quite a lot of elements to play with and you can combine them in all kinds of cool ways to achieve something amazing for your portfolio. So if you go to download it, then you will get this file here on the Gumroad page is a video link with best practices for the modular kit. I would definitely suggest you to watch this video before you play with it because this kit is is set up in a special way and that is that it is still 100 procedural so when i press nb you can see all of the polygons here but basically when i would open up this element here then you can see it's set up with a volume builder measure setup and if you are not happy with the edge beveling then you can just go into it and reduce this one for example 0.04 and then you will have a really sharp object let me just quickly deactivate the materials, press NA to get rid of the lines. And now you can see that this one is really nice and sharp. It will be ready for close up shots. But for example, when you are further away from the element, then you don't need to have as much as polygons that you will have with a voxel size of 0.04. And this is why all of that stuff is kept procedural. You will get different selection elements here for all of the builders. So you can restore the selection and then just change the resolution whenever you want to do that. But other than that, you can basically arrange them into all kinds of cool shapes and just have a lot of fun with this one. There will be an additional lesson on my Patreon where I show you how to light it and just get the best out of it. So I think this lighting is pretty, pretty solid, pretty amazing with an highlight here some shadow areas and overall i just want to share with you some good stuff that you can create some amazing artworks all right and maybe i should quickly talk about the title for this video so i called this one something like how to win jobs in world-class agencies or how to impress world-class agencies uh, or studios and i think the important thing is just that you can work with simple elements but they have to all be well designed and they need to speak a similar design language and then you can work with simple elements, not complex lighting, no complex materials, but just you need a good, well balanced design approach to it where everything is speaking the same language. And I think this is something that these artworks achieve more or less. So I think this is a really well balanced image. But of course, it's always a bit stupid to say that about your own work. But it's just my opinion that these artworks are working quite well. And I think this is just because the elements are well balanced. They work beautifully together. And when you have good assets, then you just need to have a beautiful lighting. The material can be really simple and easy and the result of your work would be just beautiful and um and look good. Okay, so that was just my opinion. And um, I think this is a good approach to your artworks to not make it over complicated, but just take care of that everything beautifully works together. It's in harmony and it speaks the same design language. Just to give you a little bit more value in this tutorial <laughs> so that I can call it a tutorial. Sorry, thank you so much for your time. I hope that you like this kit. See you in the next one. Bye everyone.